today's video, I'll explain the projection of a square pyramid when it is resting on a corner of the base on HP. So the problem is a square pyramid, 35 mm side of base and 60 mm axis length rest on HP on one of the corners of the base such that the two base edges containing the corner on which it rests makes equal inclination with HP. So we have to draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis of the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degree and appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. To start with, you have to draw the top view of the pyramid in the starting position. Since the corner of the base is on HP, you have to draw the top view in such a way that when you tilt the solid, it should rest on the corner of the base on HP. So this requires the sides of the square should make 45 degree to XY line. So you can construct a square by taking the rectangle tool. You can give width as 35 mm, which is the side of the square. And height also you can give 35. And the angle you have to give 45 degree. So that will construct the square. After typing 45, you should press the under key and then place the square in the required position. So this is a top view in the required position. So you need to show the slant edges here. So slant edges uh, you can show by connecting from base corner to the apex is coming here. You can connect to the other end. So these are four slant edges. This apex, apex to all the four base corners. Everything is going to be visible. So you can make it a visible line or you can make the line thickness to 0.5. So this is a top view. You can name it A, B, C, and D. And this is O and O1. So this is a, a required uh, position. So this is a, a top view in the initial position. And you can show the dimension, it's 35 mm. Now you have to draw the projection front view you should draw so to draw the front view you project to the x y line now from here you have to further draw uh, the height that is height is 60 in this case you can draw uh, 60 mm uh, line vertical line so you should get the vertical indication or so you should draw a vertical line uh, and from here, you can connect to the uh, complete the front view. You now, these are the slant edges, it's like AO and CO. And here, you can get two slant edges, and the axis also will come here. So, everything you can darken it. You have to make this 0.5 mm thick. So, this is this is separate, it's thin. Now you can uh, name this front view, this A dash, this B dash, D dash. And this is C dash. And this is O dash. And here uh, come O1, O1 dash. So O1, o the axis, and uh, two slant edges that is OB and OD all are uh, coming in the same line. So you have to show only the uh, visible line here because the visible edge is OB. OB is nearer to the observer. When you look from here uh, to draw the front view, OB is visible but OD is hidden. OD is hidden but OD is coming behind OB. So you will show only visible line. Even the axis O01 is coming here. But that axis will not show separately because it is coinciding with the visible edge. And here you have two n slant edges OA and OC, they are uh, also visible. So three slant edges only visible OA, OB, and OC. OD is hidden, which is behind. OD is behind. So only this portion is visible AO, CO, and BO. This it's a front portion, it's visible. Behind this, these two triangular faces are not visible, even DO is not visible. Now, after this, you have to tilt the uh, solid, keeping the corner on HP. What is the required inclination? 
the pyramid is inclined to HP at 40 degree and the axis of the pyramid and the axis of the pyramid is inclined 40 degree and appears to be inclined 45 degree. So axis should make 40 degree. It's easy for us to show the base inclination. So you can show the base inclination. Axis and base are mutually perpendicular. So base inclination you can calculate as 90 minus axis inclination. That is 90 minus 40. You will get the base inclination as 50 degree. So you can move a copy of that on XY line. After selecting it, you, using the move command, you can move a copy of this on the XY line. When you get the point on element, you just click and move it and again place it on this. Before that, you should switch on this move copy. Okay. And now you place it on the XY line. Then terminate. And you can use the rotate command to rotate it. So now keeping the corner C on HP, I'll rotate the base to make that base. Base should make 50 degree inclination so that axis will come on 40 degree. You calculate it like this. 90 minus axis inclination will give the base inclination. Since axis is making 40 degree with HP, base inclination is 90 minus 40, 50. So I need to give a rotation angle 50 degree, then press enter. So you can either rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise. You rotate it clockwise. Here this should be switched off and you rotate it. So this is the second position after the pyramid are rotated and the corner of the base C is resting on HP. In this position, they have given one more condition, two base edges containing that corner on HP. A corner C is on HP, two base edges containing that corner is CB and CD. They are equally inclined to HP. So no further adjustment is required. CB and CD are equally inclined to HP. So all these problems will be automatically satisfied. When you are keeping the corner exactly like this, the corner position, when you tilt it, these two base edges containing the corner will be making equal inclination. So that is automatically satisfied. Now you can go for top view. So you project the top view by drawing vertical lines. Vertical projection lines you can draw um, from here again. So projection lines from X. Now from D you can project to D. This is D. D you can find A and C. A is here, C is here. And also up this is apex also is coming. Now you can Excess lines can be terminated. Now you can use uh, visible line to connect it. Visible line. So this is point A, and uh, this is B, it's C, and D, and it's O and O1. So you got all the points. I'll name it. You can move a copy of this uh, holding the control key. You can drag and place it. A. B, C, D, okay, and uh, O and O one separately you should type O, O one. After getting these uh, points, you can uh, connect outline. First, you have to connect the outline. Outline is always visible. So outline means you j join all the outline points without leaving any other point outside. Boundary you are connecting. So you connect it. Connect. So this is the uh, outline. Now when you look from here, base part is not visible. So when you look from the top, you are drawing the top view. So when you look from the top, base is not visible. So base outline you have already drawn. As a part of outline, two base edges have come. So that is visible. But the remaining base edges it should be shown hidden since the base is not visible when you look from the top. So these two base edges you have to make dotted. So you can take a dotted line, connect, use the dotted line, 
and connect it by dotted line. Since C is hidden, CO is hidden, CO is hidden, inside slanted, from inside this hidden point, there is a slanted CO which is going to be hidden, but from outline part, uh, slanted AO, one more slanted G is there AO, DO and DO we are already connected, there are only CO and AO to be shown, but CO is hidden, but AO is visible. So on top of that CO, you have AO. So you should show AO visible line. CO dotted line will be coming behind that. CO dotted line is just behind AO. So you have to show visible line. So CO is behind uh, this AO. There is no connection between A and C. It is not A and C. We have connected AO. Uh, there is no connection between A and point C. CO is hidden. Okay. Axis also we need not sh show separately because axis is coinciding with the AO. So this completes the uh, uh, top view of the pyramid in the uh, tilted position. So now the axis is making 40 degree with HP. Let us mark the inclination of the axis also. Axis inclination. So axis is making 40 degree. We actually started with the tilting base. Base 50 degree we are tilted. So axis has fallen on 40 degree line. Let us mark the height of the pyramid also. So height of the pyramid is 60. Now you have to uh, tilt this in such a way that the axis appears to be inclined 45 degree to AP. Appears to be inclined. So this is apparent angle is given. So apparent angle when apparent angle is given directly you can put it on 45 degree line. Okay, no, no need of taking apparent inclination for the, the given angle itself is the view angle. In the view, it appears to be inclined 45 degree. So you have to keep 40, uh, draw a 45 degree line, just draw a line. I need to make this thin line. Okay, now you adjust the angle between this line and uh, it's to 45 degree. It's only 33 will make it 45 degree. Now you have to copy this view. So you, you can copy along with this. And just hold down the control key and just move a copy of this. Okay, so I just moved a copy of this. And then you need to give a rotation for this. AO I am going to, that is axis I am going to put on that line. Okay, so you can give a small rotation for this and then I'll put it later. Now this axis should fall on this 45 degree line. Axis is O1. O1 is actually, if I connect this, I'll get exact O1 point. I'll connect it later. So when you connect this a, D and B, you will get the point O1. Now you need to make this figure a rigid set. So for that, you have to go for rigid set option in the relationship toolbar. Uh, click on this and then accept this uh, Okay, now this has become a rigid set now again use the collinear command to make this uh, Axis falling on this line Okay, so now this uh, it's aligned uh, to Move this point. So this here uh, a B and O O1. To get O1, you can draw the diagonal uh, just so that you can you'll be able to project O1. Now you can draw the A is okay. A is coming here at this height. So no, like this. I'll trim this. Then. B is here, this right, B and D. So no, B and D you should project B and D. Trim the term. So this is uh, point B and this D. Now C you should project C. C is on HP. So you need to project only up to here. This is C. Now O projection of four you project it you can also get it like this 
print projected o. So this is o. Now o1 you should project that is midpoint of this line, midpoint of this line or the intersection. Here, here is the o1 point. So we got all the points. Now you can name it. This is a dash and this is a dash b dash this is c dash and this d dash and this o dash o1 dash so we got all the points now we have to use the visible line and connect outline you should connect okay outline it is like this a b c then d if you connect then this is outline okay now you can zoom this area now if you connect like this that is not outline d o now d is inside so d o this is outermost edge c o c o and then a o so this is the outline when you look from here base is not visible i tilted apex towards the observer so base is not visible so you can see o1 is away from the observer apex is nearer o1 is away when o1 is away base end of the axis is away from the observer base will not be visible so this base outline is visible so but base is not visible so you need to complete the base edges by hidden lines so you uh, can zoom it and draw. So I'll take a hidden line, complete the base edge by hidden line. So this is hidden line. Okay. Now this AD and DC, they are hidden. Now D is hidden. There is a slant edge from D to O, D O. So that should be hidden. So it's a interior slant edge from inner part of the base, the slant edge is hidden we have already drawn three slant edges ao is there co is there do it's hidden so from interior and hidden points all the lines connecting to the outline are hidden now once the inside slant edge is hidden from outline part slant edge this is outline outline part there is a slant edge that should be visible so you can take visible line and then connect it so that is visible line now you need to show the axis for axis you have to use it's in line but thin line so you have to show the axis so that completes the projection of the pyramid in the required position now pyramid is resting on the corner of the base on hp that is c is resting on hp and two of its base edges containing that corner that is cb and cd are making equal inclination with hp and axis is making 40 degree with hp and also the axis appears to be inclined 45 degree with the vp so this is the required projection so finally what you are getting is the required projection in the given position